Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 175. We're still looking at lookup and reference functions, and today what I have is the same data that we've played with in the past, a couple of Excel videos, and what we have is some mutual funds going across the top and some different uh, groups of information, one and three year returns, the category, the symbol, the asset class, whatever, of different mutual funds that we might offer in a 401k or a profit sharing plan. Remember in the past what we did is we said I'm going to go down in the first column in my table and when I find what I'm looking for I'm going to go across however many columns I want and that's what I'm going to return back with VLOOKUP. There is a very similar function in Excel called HLOOKUP that just goes the other direction and says well what if I know I want symbol like I have up here but now what I want to be able to do is take this let's say instead of the total international stock index I want the mid cap index it'll look that up for me or it'll look up the 500 index for me. What I want to do is find what I'm looking for instead of in column A I want to look in row 8 and when you find what you're looking for in row 8 instead of going across columns I want you to go down rows and show me where you the data is that I found and return that back to me. HLOOKUP has a very similar approach. What am I looking for? In this case I'm looking for F5, I'm looking for the cell right here the table is the very same, E8 to I138. I just slid it over a couple of columns for the next Excel video. What row do I want? So once I find 500 index, I want to go down to the second row, and that's VFINX is what I'm returning there. And then the same true or false thing. False says I want an exact match. And that is how this HLOOKUP function works. The very same approach as VLOOKUP. The only difference is instead of looking in the first column of my table, I'm going to look in the top row of my table and instead of going across columns I'm just going to go down rows but it's the very same approach so if you've got data that's laid out where you want to look off the first row and then go down instead of off the first column and go across just use HLOOKUP very same logic very same approach uh, it works almost exactly the same way with the exception of I'm looking at rows instead of columns once you've got that working and you know HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP, you can do a bunch of clever things with your tables. Stay tuned next time. We're going to take HLOOKUP to the next level. And we're going to remember last time we did the column addition to VLOOKUP. There's a very similar function called row, and we'll incorporate that into HLOOKUP next time. See you then.